how you're all doing? Welcome to this um, in light tutorial. In this in light tutorial, we're going to move on to part four of our collage tutorial. Part four is the floating tree in the right hand side, top right hand side. If you haven't been following the other three, I'll put the links to the videos in the description below, or also I'll put them on the screen as we go along. Um, for this video, you're going to need a, a, a few, a couple of resources, and they are this tree and this um, this mountain range here. If I forget to put them in the description, please just let me know, and I will do so as as soon as I can. Um, you don't have to use these images; you can use ones that you want to use, but but they will be there if you need them. So first thing we want to do is blur this image um, because this is going to act as our background. So I'm going to tap the screen to show my sidebar. I'm going to open my tools. I'm then going to go to Tilt Shift. And tilt Shift is where all the blurs go on. Um, you can see on the banner on the bottom, I have position highlighted in blue. I'm going to highlight or select um, shape. And then I'm going to select linear. And this gives me a linear blur. So if I take this anchor point in the center and I move it up or down, you see I am um, applying the blur or removing the blur. So the little arrows either side, they just smooth out the effect. So they sort of give a, um, they sort of give a big net type feel to the effect itself. I'm going to pull them all the way in so the, the blur just stops and I'm going to drag the anchor point all the way down so the blur covers the screen. I'm then going to select tools again, just press tools on the bottom again and you will get intensity, I'm going to highlight intensity, slide my finger up to the right hand side of the screen in order to increase the intensity and I want it about 80. I'm going to click the little tick button to apply that image. And then I'm going to select um, image on my right hand side. I'm going to select adjust to apply an effect filter to it. So I'm going to scroll along and again you can apply any filter that you want to it, any effect filter. But I want to use this, um, this withered and the reason I'm going to use this withered is because I want to, whilst the background image, blurred image is still there with this filter effect, the filter applied, I want to really um, emphasize on the finished article on the floating tree and this um, I think this will allow me to do it I've not tried it yet so it might all go wrong but we'll see at the end um, I'm gonna scroll my finger up or down left left or right to change the intensity of that effect and I've got it on around 50 55 something like that click the little tick button to apply that and then we're just gonna save that out by ticking the button at the top right side clicking the button at the top right side and then just save and um, save that photo out so you'll have that saving and then it will save. Okay, so now what I want to do, I'm just gonna close down, tap the screen to close down my sidebar. And I'm gonna go back, press the little back button, however many times I need to, to go back to the original image. So that's our original image. I'm then gonna scroll along my images at the bottom and, um, and select this with the tree. So you can see I've got a few resources here at the bottom with this, um, this, this model here and this Polaroid picture so that you can see what's coming up soon. Um, okay, so I selected the image for my background and now I want to select the image for my foreground. In order to select two images, we have to apply a mixer tool, tap the screen, get the sidebar up, select tools, go to mixer, and then it will allow me to select another image. So I'm gonna to go to my original tree image and I'm gonna pinch and squeeze this image until it pops into size, into, into the correct size. And then I'm just gonna move it with my finger. Just move the image with your finger and you'll see you'll have these guide marks, like um, like aiming re reticles, um, lines around the outside of the image. And that just say tells me that I've got the picture, or got the image center and the correct size of the top of the original image. So then I'm gonna to go to um, tools I'm going to go to Erase, and I'm going to start removing all of the background from this image. Now, this is not hard to do. People say it is hard to do, but um, it's it's not just zooming all out of the image to um, to make it easy for yourself. But what I am going to do on this image, I'm going to leave part of the ground in front of the tree. So if I want to zoom in, I'm going to deselect Erase and then zoom into this image and then select erase again and start removing the rest of the image background. So we do need to go around this part of the tree like so. And I'm not 
I'm not doing this quick. Like I said, I'm gonna leave some sort of background going on. I need to move it, so I deselected the rays, and then reselected it, and then, that like said, I just want to remove some of the front part of this image, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. In fact, it's better if it's not perfect. So, I'm just going to make sure I've removed all of the background by deselecting the erase tool, reselecting the erase tool, so moving the image and reselecting the erase tool. Notice it wasn't hard, it was quite an easy, easy effect to achieve by zooming in or out. So now moving on to um, a part where you need to be careful, all I want to do is just remove these, these last little bits from around here. So but it doesn't matter, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it's better if it's not perfect. So I'm just gonna pinch and squeeze and straighten my tree up again. So this is the sort of, um, oh, let me get rid of, remove these clouds up here. A little bit more there, more there. Okay, excellent. So then I'm gonna pinch and squeeze this image, and get it to how I want it, like so. Now this is the part you have to be careful of. So once you've positioned this image, that is where it will need to stay, okay? Because we're gonna use another image on top of this. So imagine now we've got two layers, we've got the blurred layer and we've got the top layer. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to merge by clicking the little tick button, I'm going to merge the blurred layer with the top layer. So that will give us one image. So like so, I select the little tick button. So now I've got one image, I can't do nothing with it. Um, with the foreground or background because it's just one layer. But what we will do is apply another layer by selecting and um, tapping the screen, selecting tools again, look, and then go to mixer once more. And then we're gonna select the um, our mountain image. First thing I want to do is pinch and squeeze and rotate this image like so. And then I'm just gonna zoom into this image so I can start, select tools and erase I can start removing the background. And once more, this doesn't have to be perfect. So let me just do the main parts that you can see. Deselect arrays, move the image. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now you notice our edges here are squared off and we want to, um, we, want, we don't want that. So I'm gonna select arrays. I'm just gonna rub out over some of the edges, just nice, not too carefully, but um, but I don't want to go too far into the image. I don't want to use too much of it. Let's keep this erase tool going, move along, and then we could sort of filter off the end like that. And then that is our bottom bottom image or a lower image as it will be in a minute. I'm just gonna remove the blue stuff. And look, it doesn't matter if you erase some of it, it doesn't, because it doesn't have to be perfect. And if you do erase some and you're not happy that you've erased it, just click the add button and and, um, and color over it again and it will bring it back for you. So, this is the image as I want it like so. I'm just gonna resize it and fit it on to the bottom of the tree like this, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to blending, have a look at seamless, and just have a look at some of the blending modes that you can look at, or that you could use. I would suggest the further you go up, when you're gonna start making things darker, that's when it's not gonna be as good. So just just use, look at the, um, Look at the effects, the blending effects, and either zoom, zoom up or down on the effects. And it might be for the images that you've selected, 
um, a certain effect works better than others. So for me, I think just normal and having it roughly about here, like so, up the eight onto the 88. So this, this works well for me. I'm gonna click the little tick button. Now remember at the start we said, obviously the withered would take away some of the background, take away some of the effect from the background. That does indeed still stand, but we're just gonna have a look to apply another, um, another predefined effect over the top of this image. So I'm gonna select image. Adjust. You could apply a filter as well, see what that looks like. I'm just select crisp and see what our crisp looks like. Because crisp will like sharpening up the image a little bit. Vivid will make it look quite cool as well. Contrast will darken the background and sort of punch the colours through. You can go high key, which will brighten the background. HDR. Low key again will darken the background. So you can just have a look at some of these um, some of these effects and see which one you think that works well. So for me, I think Mantis works quite well. Stella also works well. Lagoon and Cave. But if we go to this ink print here, this is where I think you get the best sort of punch um, and applying a sort of different effect to the image as well. And that's what I want to use. I'm gonna select the little um, tick button. And then what I want to do, I want to save that image out, and save that photo. I'm gonna to go to finalize, I'm gonna to go to my collage, select my four images, and then place my four images by selecting the color by selecting the um, the blank tile, and then go to um, go to end light at the bottom, and then select one of your other images, and then you just just keep um, locating your images and put whatever images you want in there, and then let's put the let's actually put the end light one in the end one. So yeah, this is the images that um, collage a little bit different. Obviously, we started off with this. Um, you could even put a collage within the collage, like so, which looks quite cool. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this four part tutorial. Um, like I said, the, the other parts are on videos or the descriptions are in the, um, in the links below or I'll put them on the screen. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll be back soon with more tutorials. Um,